All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to play to me, Archie's Gamer, <laughs> playing Skyrim. And we made it to the city now, to Riviera, or Riverwood. I thought it was Riviera. <laughs> and um, <coughs> there's plenty of NPCs out here to talk to. Feindolf thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. Okay. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Sigrid will get you oh, this guy has something to say. You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Hmm, why not do something like he sound persistent? Why not do something? Two people spend in time to get a never blossom into a cock shit. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, uh, still you have a point. Yeah. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. Okay, cool. So... I'll just tell him I brag. I saw a dragon. Yeah. So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. No. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Sure, sure, sure. Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go back to where we supposed to be taking our mission here. But for his sake, I think he sent us in this area here open skill may need to level up we'll do that in a bit not right now well one of us has to do something i said no no adventures no theatrics no just hit her right in the head Kunk. well what are you going to do then huh let's hear it we are done talking about this oh <clears throat> the customer yes how y'all doing Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Unless you're here to sell that weapon of yours, put it away. So I'll trick you into okay. From Feindel? That's strange. He's never written to me before. What what is this? Is this what he really thinks about me? Well, you can tell that that long-eared ass not to come around the store anymore. He's not welcome. Okay, so I guess she has a problem with him. Let's see what he wants. I don't know what you... The Riverwood Trader is everything you... Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Okay, sounds you good. Could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Okay. Yes. Bleak Falls Barrow so for him. You don't have to go, do you? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Oh, good. Uh, Bleak Falls Barrow is just outside of town. I can show you. But only to the edge of town. Bleak Falls Barrow is just outside of town. I can show you. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get this back way. To normal. Okay, so we're gonna go on this mission now, ignoring the guy we supposed to talk to in here. Let's go do that. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Whoa. Okay, guys. Are you coming with me? This way. Where? Where? You need to lead the way. She's numb. Oh, there it is. There's a bridge. She's not coming anywhere. Miss, are you coming with me? This way. No, she's just going to come to the edge of the town like they say. We'll do the side mission alongside whatever we're doing. Secret, we have company. What's up, buddy? 
we'll sit down on this right here. Redbar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get Ain't you something. Every to day we get Do you have any supplies I could take? Can I use your forge? What do you think about the war? People are rightly stirred up about the damn Talmor being allowed to roam around arresting people just for worshipping Talos. But mm. wasn't worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? That was a yawn, Not by the way, guys. You heard that? will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Hmm. It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Talmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down. Dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Okay, that question I think became available because of... A couple of chapters back, there was an area where we killed some bandits and find a shrine. So we asked him about why they're killing people. Can you tell me, can I use it for? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Okay. I see no harm in it. If you have the skill, the grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. The grindstone. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Sounds good. Of course. Take what you need. Oh, really? But what's all this about? What are you two doing here? Oh. Oh. Well, 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 sir. I will take all of it. You said what I needed. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, mm, thank you. What? A dragon? In Helgen? Yes. That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. A dragon. Yes. Here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Didn't we just take a bunch? Let's ask her. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need. Within reason. Yeah, we already got those. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. What? Now then, boy. Helgen was destroyed? How did you... Take what you need, my friend. Thank you. Carl Balgraf. He just stopped the dialogue. Might run hold. A good man. Perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Hmm. Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Yes, I am. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude. And killed him. Shouted him to death. If you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, 
We're back to the bad old days. Okay, so we finished with that. Don't know where to start. You know I signed to General Tully as a skull. We were stopped in hell again when we were attacked by a dragon. When your friend told me, I it's didn't nice to be back in a friendly night. spot, huh? Just head north. You it's the capital of White Run Hold. The biggest and the best of the nine holds of Skyrim. Yeah, who those other guys you know, were? No. That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. Right. The leader of the Stormcloaks. They claim to be fighting for Skyrim's freedom. But the war is really all about Ulfric wanting to be High King of Skyrim. You haven't heard of the civil war in Skyrim? Nah, man. Talk to me. this town in Cyrodiil, people have other things to worry about. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. He's always used the ban on the warship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support. So a few months ago, he murdered the High King. That got the Empire's attention. That's brutal. Uh, do you capture the... What's the warship of Talos ban? Yes. I guess that wasn't such a big deal. Elsewhere. Guys, we gotta get this stuff out of the way. Guys. Here, it's cost a lot of resentment, native son, and all that. Even I'll admit it hasn't been the Empire's finest hour. But it wasn't like the Emperor had any choice, did he? If he hadn't signed the peace treaty with the Thalmor, they would have destroyed the Empire. Then where would Skyrim be? That's the part that Ulfric's supporters always conveniently forget about. Unless the Empire stands together. The Thalmor would destroy us all. Okay, so we have two more guys before we go in. General Tullius has his headquarters in Castle Dower, in the city of Solitude, northwest of here. You'll want to talk to Legate Ricca. She deals with the new recruits. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you if I get back to Solitude first. Mm, I don't want to join those guys. They try to execute me. A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months. But he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. This time, the General turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly too. So much for his death or glory reputation. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil, but I guess the General changed his mind. You know the rest. Okay. Be careful on the way to solitude. All right. Storm cloaks could be oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Shut up. Now, we're going to do the mission for the person inside uh, that place first with the girl. So let's go out there. The golden claw. Let's unhighlight that one. We're going to retrieve that. It's located there uh, um, across the bridge, like she said. That letter ought to convince Camilla to never speak to Feindall ever again. Hold on. I did talk to her. Where's that guy? You look like a traveler. Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. I think you deserve some gold from my tips at the inn. Yeah, give me it. Thank you. Follow me, I need your help. Uh, okay. I suppose Master Neloth won't mind. He's always telling me to get out of his way. Okay. Awesome. I got him to follow us. So we got ourselves some help. Now we are going on top of this hill somehow. Here. There we go. I don't see no weapon on that guy. Where he is? Still here. I need a trade. What do you want me to carry? Yeah, let me see. Because I don't think. Yeah, like I said, I know you didn't have no weapon. Let me give him a weapon. Gotta give him a weapon. Give him that one. And. Uh... Yeah, give him that cheap one. And he's gonna need. Shit, I should have sell those things to those guys. Okay. 
this. That. 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 Okay. You lead, I'll follow. Okay, he's dressed up. Let's go. I don't know how we get on top of this hill. Oh, there we go. Awesome. There's stairs. We shall take them up. So hopefully I cut this whole journey out for y'all. You go too far now, buddy. Where's your friend? True Nords never back down. Let's go then. You fucked up, nigga. You fucked up. Oh, my guy's gonna need that. Go to sleep, buddy. I don't know why they attack us, but let's check their spot out, see what they're hiding. Or maybe just lead where we need to go. We killed them over some carrots? Oh my god. God damn care, they better be delicious. Oh. Gem. Healing power. Healing potion. Oh shit. Almost fell then. Okay, so we're still trying to get upstairs here where this thing is so let's go this way hopefully lead where we need to be going good 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 okay Rick Falls. We're going to need ourselves some health, so let's get it now. I didn't even show my... I get it. It could auto 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 automatically just. Yeah, we needed to give him a shield as well, so. Let's get ourselves shielded up. We just got a shield from the guys who says fought. Fight with us now. back home if you need me. Oh no, 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 no. Good day, friend. Keep oh. Well. I suppose Master Neloth won't mind. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He's telling me to get out of his way. Thank you, Jesus. I almost sent him home just now. Jeez. I was right just... Behind you. All right, what is it? 
Okay, let's come on. Still need me to do something? No, 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 no. I'm right behind you. Uh, something I can't fresh. I need to trade. Yeah, there what we go. Sorry, guys. I know this is boring, but I need to give him a shield. Let's get going then. Somebody's up here. Can't wait to count on your boy. Just die. Rip you open. Thank you. That's why you need a companion. He dropped. Good job, buddy. Good job. Take that lock pick. I'm not that we bought the.